हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन हेलो एल्केस एंड हेलो एरेंज चैप्टर इज द कैमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ हेलो एल्केस इन द कैमिकल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ हेलो एल्केस वी स्टडी थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कैमिकल प्रॉपर्टी फर्स्ट इज न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन सेकेंड इज एलिमिनेशन रिएक्शन एंड थर्ड इज रिएक्शन विद मेटल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन एज यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड विद द टर्म इन दिस वन न्यूक्लियो फाइल विल डिस्प्लेस एनदर न्यूक्लियो फाइल ड्यूरिंग द रिएक्शन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दिस रिएक्शन इज नोन एज न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन वी नो दैट इन द केस ऑफ हेलो एल्केस कार्बन हेलोजन बॉन्ड इज पार्शल आइनिक वाई इट इज पार्शल आइनिक इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कार्बन हेलोजन बॉन्ड हेलोजन इज मोर इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिव इन कंपेरिजन टू कार्बन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट देयर इज अ पार्शल नेगेटिव चार्ज इज कमिंग ऑन द हेलोजन एंड पार्शल पॉजिटिव चार्ज इज कमिंग ऑन द कार्बन इट मीन्स कार्बन इज इलेक्ट्रॉन डिफिशियंट सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन दिस केस इफ वी टेक सम एल्काइल हेलाइड so we know that there is electronegativity difference between the carbon and halogen halogen is having partial negative charge carbon is having partial positive charge because of that this nucleophilic substitution reaction is taking place so when nucleophile is attacking so this nucleophile is much more stronger in comparison to this halide ion so because of that this nucleophile will attack on the electron deficient carbon due to which this halogen will be removed as halide ion by taking the shared pair of this bonding electron with itself so there is a formation of so there is a formation of particular compound will takes place and removal of halide ion in which this halide ion is behaving as a leaving group this is referred as a leaving group it is also known as a nucleophage so what is nucleophage when this leaving group is taking away the shared pair of electron with itself in the form of x minus so this is known as a nucleophage so this reaction is known as nucleophilic substitution reaction so the order of reactivity of alkyl halide towards a nucleophilic substitution reaction reaction is given as most reactive is alkyl iodide then alkyl bromide then alkyl halide and least is alkyl fluoride similar is the order of departing group it means in this case iodide ion will remove easily in comparison to bromide ion then chloride and least departing group is fluoride ion so let's see some substitution reaction first nucleophilic substitution reaction by substitution with hydroxyl group so in this case there is a formation of alcohol is taking place so in this case we take alkyl halide and react with either aqueous sodium or potassium hydroxide or we can also take silver hydroxide so let's start in this case if we take ethyl bromide and react with aqueous koh so there is a formation of ethyl alcohol and removal of kbr is taking place why this reaction is taking place it is because of the electronegativity difference between the carbon and halogen so there is partial negative charge is coming on the bromine and partial positive charge is coming on the carbon similarly in this case also sodium hydroxide is ionic compound so there is a negative charge on oh and positive charge on potassium so there is formation of this ethanol is taking place because this oh is behaving as a nucleophile so this will attack on the this electron deficient carbon of ethyl bromide so there is formation of ethyl alcohol is taking place and removal of kbr which is ionic compound it means positive charge is coming on potassium and negative charge is coming on the bromine we can also use silver hydroxide 
which is formed by when we dissolve a silver oxide in water so there is a formation of silver hydroxide so in the presence of silver hydroxide because this is ionic compound so there is a formation of CH3 CH2 OH and removal of AGI second nucleophilic reaction is by substitution with alkoxy group so in this case there is a formation of ether is taking place so similar reaction will takes place in this case also only the reagent is different in this case we take sodium ethoxide or potassium ethoxide so this is ionic compound in which negative charge will be coming on the oxygen positive charge is coming on the sodium so in the presence of ch3 ch2 br in the presence of ch3 ch2 br there is a formation of ether is taking place and removal of nabr so this is a methoxy ethane so there is a formation of ether this is methoxy ethane similarly we can also form in the presence of methyl iodide and sodium ethoxide so there is a formation of methoxy methane is taking place and removal of na I. This reaction is known as Williamson synthesis. It is used for the preparation of ether. When we take two moles of ethyl bromide, so in this case we are taking two moles of ethyl bromide in the presence of dry silver oxide. So there is a formation of diethyl ether is taking place and removal of AgBr. Next reaction is substitution of halogen by cyano group. In this case, there is a formation of alkyl cyanide or alkyl nitrile is taking place. This reaction is occurring in the presence of alcoholic solution of potassium cyanide or sodium cyanide. So let's see what, how this reaction is taking place. If we take In the presence of ethyl bromide, we react it with alcoholic solution of potassium cyanide. So there is a formation of ethane cyanide or propane nitrile and removal of KBr. Similarly, in the case of if we take methyl iodide and react it with alcoholic KCN. So there is a formation of ethane nitrile or methyl cyanide and removal of Ki. So in this case, this reaction is very useful. Is this reaction is used for increasing the carbon chain. So this reaction is example of ascent of series. As you can see in this case, the reactant is having two carbon, whereas the product is having three carbon. So this reaction is very useful for increasing the carbon chain in the compound so this reaction is example of ascent of series this reaction is very important because the alkyl cyanide which is formed we can convert this alkyl cyanide to different compounds different organic compounds by using a specific reagent example we can convert these alkyl cyanide into amide carboxylic acid and amines so let's see these reactions in which the conversion of alkyl cyanide to particular compound is taking place in this case in the presence of ethane nitrile partial hydrolysis of this ethane nitrile will take place in the presence of concentrated SCL or we can also take concentrated H2SO4 then further in the presence of water hydrolysis will take place so there is a formation of acetamide so there is a formation of ethanamide or its common name is acetamide similarly by using this ethane nitrile we can also prepare ethanoic acid so how this reaction is taking place in the presence of when this ethane nitrile will react with H2O in the presence of dilute H2SO4 or we can also take dilute 
NaOH. So in this case, either we can perform acidic hydrolysis by using dilute H2SO4 or we can also perform hydrolysis by using dilute NaOH of this ethane nitrile. So there is a formation of acetic acid is taking place and removal of ammonia. Similarly, we can also perform reduction. So in this case, in the case of reduction, there are various reagents which we can use for the reduction of this ethane nitrile. So when we take ethane nitrile, and perform reduction by using reagent which is known as this reaction is known as Mendius reaction. So the reagent which is used for Mendius reaction is sodium in the presence of ethanol. So there is a formation of primary amine is taking place or we can also perform catalytic reduction by using hydrogen in the presence of catalyst nickel or we can also use reducing agent like example lithium aluminium hydride LIE ALH4. 